Are you all right? Hello, welcome to Girl Orphanage. You must be Mrs. Baker, correct? Yes, and this is Nellie. I'm so pleased to meet you. Not to worry, she's been through an ordeal. Nellie, there are 17 boys and girls at the orphanage. A few are true orphans like yourself, but many came to us because their parents could no longer care for them since the great crash. Of course, uh, all of the children are taught trades so that they can eventually care for themselves. Come, let's take your picture. Smile, sweetie. You're about to start a wonderful adventure. Did you receive the money from the estate? Shh. Nellie, darling, would you mind stepping outside while Mrs. Baker and I take care of some business? Everything is in order. All of her needs should be met. Can I leave a small sum for Nellie personally? We keep separate accounts for the children. Of course. Be good for Mrs. Pryor. Now it is time for you to learn to behave. Lights out is promptly at 8 p.m. Children must sleep on their backs with their hands above the covers. They cannot leave their beds until morning, and then they must rise at once for bed inspection. That is your bed. Do you understand, Nellie?
Children, let us read from the Lord's word. And he went up from thence unto Bethel, and as he was going up by the way, there came forth little children out of the city, and mocked him, and said unto him, Go up, thou bald head. And he turned back, and looked on them, and cursed them in the name of the Lord. And there came forth two she-bears out of the wood, and tear forty and two children of them. The word of the Lord. I really like your bear. I've never had any toys of my own. Did your parents give you that? Just be careful. Why? Breakfast is over. Miss Lillian is waiting. Who's Miss Lillian? Our teacher. Children, we just received a very large order of flowers. Spanish flu made her barren. Now, take this over to her carefully like this. That's not a good job. Sit down. I'll show you how to shoot the pads. What happened? She burned her hand. <sighs> Foolish girl. You've been very careless, Nelly. Because of you, we are now behind schedule. Now. <coughs> what shall be an appropriate punishment? Yes. The bear. Hand it over. You wouldn't want to see me angry. Would you? Good. Run cold water over it. I'll get back to work, both of you.
cash on delivery. Of course. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, and cheweth the cud, 
among the beasts that shall ye eat. The word of the Lord. Amen. Ernest ain't so bad. He's creepy. He killed the food you're eating. Really? Really. Yes, Ernie and her are just playing. Playing what? Ernie likes to play with all the little girls. Do you play with him? Ernie gives me cookies when we play. This mess. Get rid of it or so help me God. Kindly take the children outside. There has been enough excitement. As you wish, ma'am. We're all gonna miss Anna. Everyone dies. You'll die too. <coughs> Everyone here has seen the face of death. I won't die anytime soon. I sh I should be crying like the others. Everyone handles loss differently.
I'm scared. Don't worry about it. Buddy, think about it. Harmon? But why would Ernst... Children, Anna has left us. Though I know you would like to pay your last respects, we have decided that it would not be appropriate. We did. This incident has already been upsetting enough for the children and this institution, but we must not allow yet another day to be wasted. Is that not correct, Miss Lillian? Yes. Good. Now, we can assure you that no more accidents like the one that befell poor Anna will occur. Is that not correct, Ernst? Yeah, sure. Children, as a tribute to Anna, there will be no dinner tonight. No dinner? I'm going to be a starving Marvin. Don't worry, buddy. You need to find out what's going on with Anna. But you said to do nothing. That was to shut both of you up. I trust you. Good. So follow me. In there. Yuck. Don't be a scary cat. The matter is settled. I do not foresee him having any more incidents. I do not pay you to think, only to solve problems as they arise. Understood? The little difficulty has been resolved. Yeah, I'll try. Just keep your sight of the bargain. Nelly. In the bathroom. Child, come out of there immediately. Charlie. 
excuses prior. I was only just cleaning up. Enough excuses. Time for bed. Last night was fun. We must keep it a secret. Why? Buddy, you have to keep it a secret. I can't tell anybody? No! Exciting news, children. Schoolboy Rose will be here today. Who's that? He's my favorite pitcher. I got his baseball card. Miss Lillian, Miss Lillian. Yes, buddy? Is he really coming? Would I lie to you? I'm just so excited. Yesterday, and now this, it's so much fun. There was nothing fun about yesterday, buddy. Anna's gone. I know, we seen him bury Anna in the front yard. You mustn't tell such tall tales. Yes, buddy, quit telling such tall tales. Um, Miss Lillian, may I be excused? Yes, and I need to speak with Esther and Buddy a little longer. Mr. Rowe, welcome to Gore Orphanage. Mrs. Pryor, I presume. And you are Miss Lillian. Thank you, ma'am, for inviting me. Anything for the children? Tell me about this place. My father was an orphan himself. So it would seem understandable that he would spend so much on the children. Good man, your father. Well, you could say that. This way, Mr. O. What do you say to Mr. Rowe, children? Thank you, Mr. Rowe. It's my pleasure. Can you say it, please? Uh, for the children's sake. Okay. How am I doing, Edna? I'm guessing it'd be good if I spent some time with the youngins. Absolutely. Come on, children. Bring it in. Have a seat. Go get him to sign your card. Yeah. Will you sign my card? Sure, kid. If you two want to fight, then fight. Hit him! Hit him! Stop! Stand up! So this is how you repay my kindness. You disgust me! Little mongrels! Money munchers! Gnawing away at my inheritance! And 
For what? You never amount to anything. You are nothing. No one loves you. No one. Say it. Say it. No, no one, one loves us. No, no one wants us. No one loves us. No one wants 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 us. But the fearful and unbelieving, and abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. The word of the Lord. Amen. Aren't you having dinner? Not allowed. Herman's dangerous. I don't care. My daddy gave me that card. He He's gonna hurt you if you don't shut up. I ain't scared. What did you tell Miss Lillian about last night? That buddy was just making things up. Good. But I did see Miss Lillian talking to Mrs. Pryor later. Do you want to end up dead like Anna? I think we should keep an eye on Buddy. Enjoy your last night on Earth, old man. I'm not afraid of you! Go ahead, hit me. Hit me if you dare. Go ahead. Try again. Try. <laughs> I'll get you, Orman. You'll never be a man. Stop that. Ah, no, whore. Ah. What is going on here? She, she bit me. Why would you bite him? Who started this mess? Well then, Miss Nellie, you will need some correction. You must learn that pain will be received as quickly as it is inflicted here. Would you rather spend some time with Ernst? I thought not. Then I must inflict your correction, little one. Daddy always enjoyed this one. Bend over. Daddy loved orphans. He loved you better than me. Are your little girl screams. Is she screaming well for you? Scream for daddy. Scream for daddy. Scream for daddy. 
Screamer Daddy! Screamer Daddy! Well, it's bedtime for us, the kinder. Of course. The children's bedtime. I think you've been corrected enough. Come. I'll to bed with you. I'm sorry, Nelly. So am I. Oh, poor baby buddy. You know, you deserve better friends than these two. Night losers. Buddy, I promise you'll never have to cry again. this. Peaceful, my little princess. Good. Good, you calm, yeah? Someone's trying to kill me. No one killed my little princess. No one. Protect me? Yeah. Now you sleep. Yes, sir. Okay. I see. Schlafkindlein, schlaf. Das ist gut. Schlafkindlein, schlaf. Das ist sehr gut. Close eyes. Sleep, sleep.
Good morning, children. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Where's Miss Pryor? Miss Pryor is going about her business. Come on. And whosoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea. Amen. Amen. Eggs. And bacon. Can this be real? I hope so. Could every day be like today? Yes. Yes, Nellie. Of course. I always wanted my mother to tuck me in. She didn't? She died when I was little. I'm so sorry. Did, did anyone look after you? Daddy did every night. Well, that was nice of him. You needn't worry now. Stay with you tonight? <gasps> no. But you and your friend could come down for cookie, huh?
is cookie time, my little princesses. Sit, sit. I've never had two princesses visit me at the same time. Ernie, where's our cookies? You're right, I promised. I searched them. Cookies are here, I know. Once I find the cookies, we play a little game. Yes, we we'll play a little game. Where are the cookies? Ah, ah, cookies. Arnie was so disappointed. He wanted to play with the both of us. I almost didn't get my cookie. What's the matter? Esther's mad at me. Why? Ernst. What do you mean, Ernst? You have to tell me what you mean. What did Ernst do? I don't want to play his cookie game. What do you mean, his cookie game? He plays, he played it with Anna, and he plays it with Esther. People have the right to know what a little liar you are. Oh, don't you plead with me. 
I know what you are, but others, others might be fooled. still. Hold still while I finish. What do you think of your little Jezebel, Daddy? Just the way you liked them. We must introduce the children to the real Billy. decided to tell lies, and lies will not be tolerated at Gore Orphanage. Children, what happens to lies? Liar! Liar! Dance on fire! Yes. Liar! Liar! Pants on fire! That is a very good idea, children. Everyone in a circle. Of course. <laughs> Where are my manners? Children, off to bed now. Frank, how are you? I was told you need more money. Well, we have had some difficulties here. The attorney needs it. Is his retainer not enough? It's not for him. For persuasion. I find it ironic that you are calling me. After all, father left you with the prize. <laughs> you think this is a prize? You're mad. This is a purgatory. Uh, quit being melodramatic.
dramatic. You were always a special little girl. Will you help me or not? No. Goodbye, sister. I gotta get you out of here. But I have bad news. Esther is dead. How? She fell down the stairs. <laughs> You've gotta be in shock, dear. Did you fall like this? <laughs> or like this? <laughs> what? How did Esther die? Did she fall to the right or did she fall to the left? Does it matter? She's dead, and I've got to get you out of here. There's nowhere safe. I called the police. You did? They're going to find out who's killing all of the children. How? Science. They can check for fingerprints. It's going to be all right. Trust me. Listen to me. I need you to act like everything is normal until they arrive tomorrow. Yes, Miss Lillian. You can do this, Lillian. You can do this. You're a strong, modern woman. The police will 
be here first thing in the morning. I can't believe Esther was so careless. She was such a good child. We need to take precautions to keep the children safe. Just as long as they're inexpensive, I can't afford more unforeseen expenditures. I will try to find a way to keep the children safe without any additional cost. Good. There might even be a bonus in it for you. I just wanted to know if Miss Lillian wanted some more coffee. Of course, Nellie. She seems to have finally learned some manners. She's a good girl. She just needs time to adjust. I think you may be right. I will be so happy when this place can finally return to normal. Well, this orphanage could be a godsend for the children. Only if it turned a profit. There you go. Mrs. Parr, may I go to my room now? I'm very tired. What a wonderful idea. Thank you. I believe that discipline is finally changing her for the better. Have you ever thought that love might be more effective? Children are like animals. They will rebel the moment they sense weakness. I don't feel so good. It's probably all the excitement. Just relax. Mm. My attorney has assured me that everything will be fine. My stomach hurts. Better? I think so. Mm. <clears throat> this coffee has a zing to it. Really? I must try some. You are quite correct. Very tasty. I feel dizzy. Are you angling for another day off? She's trying to kill me. Be peaceful. Miss Lillian is already dead. Let's go. Let's go, 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 just go, 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 just, just go.
It never was you, was it? I never hurt Sekinda. How could I have been so blind? Uh, I go clean up the mess. Uh, uh, here, cookie. Good boy, Ernst. The kinder. Save the kinder. Save the kinder. I should never have taken that little trip. Just... Just catch that little horror for me. What are you doing? What is all that racket? What is that smell? Lock the door. It's Mrs. Pryor. She's keeping us safe.
get you out. Listen to me, Kinder. I am here. I will not leave you. It's over. I'll leave you. Never. Never.
Снято. Снято. I didn't think that was true. It was, wasn't it? You know, you never did tell me how you did it. How you managed to survive all of it. <laughs> the bear. The bear got me through it. My dear, fun. I agree. I know where Harmon hid all your cards. Where? Down in the kitchen. You want to go sneak down there? It's an adventure. Yes, buddy, an adventure. squealed on us, buddy. Look what he did to your dress. You're always messy. But remember, I'm your only friend. I know. It's just for the skies for, to track to lure them in. Ha uh ha. -huh. After, after all of that, 
Remember again, burn house down. Yes, I'll burn this house down. You're my only friend, Teddy. You're my only true. I'm so happy you talked to Ernie. Now we can all play together. Yeah, we're just trying to be nice. Why are we going this way? You said to meet him here. You'll hear them scream. Me too. Burning flesh smells good. Mm -hmm. Just like bacon. I love bear. And I love you too, dearie. You know, Grandma, you can really be a sweetie at times. I can be whatever I need to be.